your Precision 18 forecast. News 18, weather from where you live. Well, the highest pollen levels of the year are coming in right now. This is courtesy of pollen.com. These are the forecasted pollen levels for the rest of the week. Now, today we are around 9.8 on a scale of 0 to 12, but notice how we peak around about as bad as it gets on Thursday at 11.5. And this line here is the medium high line. Above that, it really starts to get uncomfortable for allergy sufferers. We start to knock it down a little bit by Friday and Saturday after some rain, but it's still pretty high. And the main culprit is oak pollen. Oaks and blossom right now, also mulberry, hickory, and walnut pollen. But this system will bring a little rain that will wash the air out a little bit. It's now in California, very strong upper level winds you can see here, kind of shredding the clouds apart in the plains. We're going to have to get the moisture in the plains, and also the cold pocket that's here will have to move over the plains too to get the severe weather going. That will happen. We will get the leftovers by Friday. Windy from now until Saturday. There will still be an elevated brush fire danger. Uh, really, we had it today. We'll have it tomorrow and Thursday with the high pollen levels. And then a few severe storms Friday, though nothing widespread, and perhaps a severe weather threat on Monday as well. Tonight, though, warmer than the 40s last night, 53 Logansport, 58 Lafayette, and 60 at Covington. Tomorrow, a summer-like day. Strong winds from the southwest, though, gusting over 35 miles an hour at times. But it's going to be 85 Lafayette, even Winnemac and Rochester at 85, 87 at Morocco, and 84 at Frankfurt. On our high rest feature cast, the warm front finally surges well north of our area tonight. And tomorrow you can see at 218 in the afternoon, it's mostly sunny. A couple of clouds tomorrow night, that is it. And notice even on Thursday, mostly sunny skies at 316 in the afternoon. We'll get some increasing clouds, though. Thursday night into early Friday, and whatever is left of all the severe weather out in the plains will affect us. It looks like a band of showers and thunderstorms on Friday. There could be a couple of severe storms, but like I was seeing yesterday, the main dynamics aren't charging eastward. They're kind of moving northeast, so the best severe threat would be northwest and west of our area, though we'll keep an eye on it, at least right now. After a few lingering showers Saturday morning, Saturday afternoon looks good. Mother's Day is looking good right now, but we may have to talk about another severe weather threat coming in with storms on Monday. Seven day forecast showers and thunderstorms Friday, a couple lingering showers Saturday morning, 71 by afternoon, 70 on Mother's Day. Looks dry at least right now, and then becoming stormy on Monday with 77, and any rain ending on Tuesday with 71. Get the shorts and flip flops out tomorrow. Yeah, everybody was raving about what a nice day it was yeah. today, but guess what? They're already complaining it's going to be too hot when it gets in the 80s. Uh, <laughs> you know, after the winter we had, I'm, Human I'm nature. ready. Yeah, <laughs> Me is. too. Sure. All right, thanks, Jen. Kay. Just ahead, the honor flight.